So we're staying in our O2 underscore elevations 2D house drawing. And in the previous video, we made sure that we had an accurate 2D plan by tidying up all of the wall joints and connections with the red 2D walls layer. So what we're going to look at in this next video is setting up our construction lines layer. Now, construction lines are a function of AutoCAD, and they're very underrated and very underused. But when you want to generate 2D elevations in AutoCAD, they're extremely useful. So where do you find them? They're on the Home tab in the draw panel up here, top left. If I click on the flyout there, and then click on the pin like that, just to pin out the flyout menu on the draw panel, you can see they're here. There's the construction line command, and there's the ray command. Now, the benefit of these construction lines and the rays that you can create, which are angled construction lines, is that they're infinite. So you just pick a point they go through, and that construction line goes through that point to infinity in the model space. And what I really like about that is you put them on a separate layer, different color, and you can see where they are in the model space and use them for intersections and points where you can start elevations in your 2D drawings in AutoCAD. So what I'll do now is I'll just unpin the flyout. That can go away for the moment. And then in the Home tab, staying in the Home tab on the ribbon, we're going to go into the Layers panel and click on Layer Properties. Now you can see at the moment that the current layer is the 2D Walls layer, and it's red, and it's a continuous line type. So when I click on New Layer, and I put in there 2D Construction, that's my Construction Lines layer, and press Enter, it adopts the properties of the current layer. So it's also red and continuous. You don't want it to be the same. You want it to stand out so that you can see it in the model space. So we're gonna click on the color there, change it from red. I'm gonna go for a nice sort of loud green. That index color 80 looks nice like that. And click on OK. You can leave the line type as continuous. It doesn't really matter what line type it is because the 2D construction layer, once you've created your construction lines and developed your elevation from it, you'll probably either switch that layer off or freeze it, basically because you don't want to see all those construction lines everywhere when you're trying to work in your AutoCAD drawing. So we've got our 2D construction layer set up there. I'll close the Layer Properties Manager now and we're ready to start creating those construction lines to develop our elevations in AutoCAD.